Got the big show coming up this weekend. And Tony Khan had a media call. He talked about a bunch of things. If CM Punk paid for his own tricep surgery, AW head Tony Khan said he was surprised to hear it and offered to reimburse his former star if so. He was asked about Punk's claims during a recent interview and that he had to take care of all aspects of the triceps injury he suffered at September's All Out, whether AW had a policy to cover any medical expenses for their talent. Khan said they typically cover those expenses for injuries suffered in AW. He would be surprised to hear if they did not do that for Punk. It did not sound accurate to him, and he offered to reimburse him if that was the case. So, <laughs> hey, listen, hold on a second. I talked about this before. I'll talk about it again. I actually, believe it or not, I will defend both people here, okay? I will. Because there's truth in the middle of, I think, both of them. No, I think things. they're both right. Yeah, well. Because here's the deal. Punk's issue was... It was a totally different experience when I tore my tricep in WWE as compared to when I tore my triceps in AEW. I believe him 100%. Yes. Because the way both companies handle injuries is different. If you get injured in either company, it will be paid for. However, with WWE, they handle it all. You tore your triceps, you're going to this doctor on this day. Here's your plane ticket. We're going to cover it. You don't do anything but go, okay? As we talked about, some people like that better. The AW way of doing it is you get hurt, find yourself a surgeon, find yourself a doctor, find yourself a rehab place, expense it to us, we'll reimburse you, okay? That's the way they do it. Some people like that better. Now, this somehow, I mentioned this a little while ago, and people were all up in arms. I'm defending one or the other. Listen. Everybody's different, bro. If you like the WWE bet way better, that's fine. Some people don't. Some people do, okay? But the point is, if CM Punk got injured and he took care of his surgery, etc., and he did not expense it back to the company, then he would not have been reimbursed. And Tony Khan may well have had no idea that he did not reimburse it back to the company. So I'm not going to sit here and say one or the other is lying. I think it's very possible that Punk got injured, and because it was in the middle of the brawl-out investigation, there was no contact between him and the company. And so he took care of it and then didn't expense it. Ended up paying for it himself. And Tony Khan probably figured Punk, like everybody else, they're going to expense it back and uh, presumed he did. And I believe that if Punk... Got a hold of Tony, which I don't think is going to happen, and said, hey, brother, you know, pay me back. Tony would pay him back. So that's the story there. I think it's a very good chance they're both telling the truth. Yeah, you said it all. I think there's nothing really to add there because, again, that's the only question is, did CM Punk expense it or put in his claims and then not have them answered, which he did not say in the Ariel Helwani interview. He just said he had to take care of all of it from Jump Street, which is what the case is in AEW. So, you know, that's it. The only thing that I would add on to this is the idea that a wrestler would have to pay in full in that type of situation. That's the one thing I would have liked to have asked Tony Khan if I had a chance to be on that press call would be, do, does the person have to pay in full and then you reimburse them or are they just putting in their claims for something that happened? Well, my presumption is... Care? Because, again, that would be a little difference of a major difference to me. But I, I don't think that that's what would be the case. I think, again, putting it in to be paid is the way they do things. I, I would assume that at least. I don't know. Because you're asking an indie wrestler to come out of pocket for... It's not an indie wrestler. They're they're under AW contract. Well, I know they're under AW contract, Brian. But, like, look at Slim J was still working another job the entire time he was there. Well, he See, was. He has a massive injury. He breaks his neck. Would he have to get treatment and pay that back? I, I don't think that well, that would be the Well, the other case, thing is, but... if, if I broke my neck and I went in to get neck surgery, I mean, it's not like they're going to hold me in the hospital till I pay the bill in full. I mean, they can bill me for it. And so I don't pay anything out of pocket. I, yeah, I go I home know, with but, a giant bill, and then I normal, expense it to AEW. Okay, well, that's what I'm saying is, again, are they being reimbursed? Do they have to come out of their pocket completely? That that would be my only question about any of this. So then he was asked about this Nyla Rose story. You guys heard this story? That's the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever heard, or it's up there at least. 
So the Oklahoma State Athletic Commission has warned AEW about having Nyla Rose compete against cisgender women in the state. I I can't even make this up. The commission voted to warn AEW about having Rose, who is a transgender woman, wrestle cisgender women in the state, or, quote, there will be punitive action against them. Like, is this a Frank A. Gotch story? L- listen, I can understand if people want to argue about transgender people like doing MMA or whatever, okay? That's that's a real sport involving fighting, okay? This is professional wrestling. I don't want to break the news to everybody in a... I may as well. It's fake. It's pretend. They're not really fighting. It is a show. This would be like if you were doing... A, 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 you were filming a new episode of The New Karate Kid or whatever. And, like, Nyla Rose... I don't know. Beat up some woman on the show. And all of a sudden, the Oklahoma State Athletic Commission's like, Oh, wait a second! It's fake. What is happening here? Nothing? No, they're going backwards. Can anyone explain this to me? No, nobody can. And look, this (laughs) is something that is coming up now because it's a big name who wrestles for a big company. But this was going to be the question about a lot of exoticos in Texas and in Oklahoma and that sort of thing, which, again, was this is completely ridiculous. You know, this has been so. Yeah. Again, you want to argue should transgender, you know, high school sports, all that. There there are places to have those types of debates in the world of professional wrestling. No, this is the stupidest, stupidest story of the day. Well, he said. And in some ways, the saddest. He said he was unaware of any issue. This is what Tony said. He didn't think A.W. Rose did anything wrong. (laughs) Well, they didn't. They didn't. And was disappointed by their stance. Well, that is true. When asked about how they would handle future dates in states with similar regulations, he was noncommittal about not running those states or leaving Rose off those shows. But he's looking forward to their 2024 schedule. I always like how he ends like that. But I'm looking forward to a great schedule of shows in 2024. Remember when Arizona and a lot of people listening are going to be way too young to remember this, but when Arizona would not pass Martin Luther King Day, and then it was basically people putting the screws to Arizona and saying we're not going to run events there, big events, have the Super Bowl there, things like that that ended up getting them to change that sort of thing and fall in line with the federal holiday that was already established everywhere else. So, you know, the best thing, if you really, if you're Tony Khan and are serious about this, and this is a main issue to you, well, then you've got to come out at some point and say, we're not running those states and take some sort of stance. He was also asked about the multiple streaming options for AEW pay-per-views. He is not sure... If the multiple streaming options will continue after this upcoming three-month stretch, he did not say why WBD allowed them to now offer the pay-per-views via streaming sources other than Bleach Report domestically. I Again, I cannot say this is why. This is speculation on my part, but it is educated speculation. I believe that they're presuming that by July, they will be able to offer pay-per-view capabilities on Max. And once that happens, that's where you'll have to get the pay-per-views. But And again, these other outlets that are going to run the pay-per-view, they're cable providers that actually have Turner on there. So that also, again, it's really no loss. What was a unique hairstyle worn by men in the 60s? Pompadour. Mop and conk, whatever what? that is. I beg your pardon, excuse <laughs> Mop me? And, Cock Mop and, and pomp? conk. Say that yeah, one more time. Nobody else talk. Pop and conk? Yeah. Are you sure, Granny? Read it again. Mev O P Mop Comma Conk. Mop Conk. Mop Conk? Conk. C O N K. Okay. Look it up. All right. Mop Conk. Mop Conk.
punk? That's two different things. I know. <laughs> God damn it. Duh. <laughs> Why is she mad at us? Because <laughs> we're idiots. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.